Oh, I don't know what's going on anymore. Then again, I never know what's going on. There's a picture in front of the lens. Brooks says this picture of Tim Mirage's first love. I think the name was... Akane Kurishiki. I can't say I blame Tim Yoji for falling for her back when he was younger. She was a cute kid. Dude. Dude, what is going on here? Uh, look. Oh, hey, there's uh, the helmet for the suit of armor. The armor's helmet. There's red paint on it. Uh, there's a lever next to the chair. Uh, why don't you pull it? Uh, what's going to happen? Uh, come on, is it really that hard to figure out? Uh, you think it's going to go back into the wall? Uh, pull the darn thing and find out. All the dots. All the dots. Alright. I guess I should start by sitting in the chair. <gasps> the balloon! The balloon! Look at the balloon! Then I pull the lever. Here I go. P. There's a P pin in the wall of red paint. Uh, looks like something on the table. Is that a battery? Okay, we know exactly what to do with this. I don't need to look at this right now. I can take care of it when I get back to the room, okay? We can't go left or right, so we gotta pee. I'm gonna write down the letter P. I don't know how that helps me, but anyway. If I pull the chair again, we should turn back around, right? Ah, oh, whatever. Not like I have a choice. Ah. This balloon had something on the back of it. It was like a bullseye. And now it's not letting me see it again. How evil is that? Looks like an L. P L. Wait, philosophy, literature? Possibly? Oh uh, yeah, that suits him. <laughs> uh, the paint on the armor and helmet lines up. Ah, uh, but I can't really tell what it is from at this angle. It, it looks kind of warped. Looks like an L. It definitely looks like an L, right? Really wish my PS4 or my PC would stop stuttering. I don't even know what's doing it. I don't know what's causing it. Um, but I don't want to stop because right now this is really, really good. Oh, wait, did was there something else we could do? Uh, yeah, right here. Ah, uh, ah, look. Uh, the laser beam spinning all around inside the bottle. Uh, yeah, it made a parallelogram. Uh, laser beam is making a parallelogram in the brandy bottle. I think that's actually my PS4, which kind of scares me, because if my PS4 is stuttering, um, that's bad. Because I don't have a PS5 yet, so I can't get rid of my PS4 anytime soon. Uh, laser beam is making a parallelogram inside the brandy bottle. Okay, so we have a red parallelogram. Red parallelogram and like a blue circle. But if it's my PS4, then why is my clock stuttering? Is my computer going bad? God, that would be even worse. Computers are a lot more expensive than uh, PS4s. Um... What do I do with that information? It's got the letter H. There's an H there. Yeah, I'm sure of it. That's an H. But what do I do with that information? Might as well leave it alone for now. Um, I I don't know how to solve this puzzle. 
I don't know what else to do. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, what was that? Uh, you must be feeling pretty tired, Temeji. All the excitement can be easy for someone your age. Why don't you sit down for a bit? <laughs> I'm not so old I need likes at you worrying about me. Uh, that's so? Well, I think I'll just have a seat then. Ah. Uh, you can click on the balloon now. Huh. What's that? You think maybe it's an eye watching us? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, I think it's a target. Uh, like a bullseye. I mean, like a bullseye? Uh, yeah, you're uh, supposed to shoot it. Oh, we have a slingshot, don't we? Okay, I'll just use slingshot too. Uh, whoa, hold on there. Uh, do you actually have something to fire? Oh, no, I guess I don't. Uh, what are you going to shoot it with then? Uh, with mine bullets. <laughs> it's uh, called telekinesis sigma. Uh, anyway, I figured that I'd uh, slip your mind like everything else. Uh, here, I grabbed this off the floor earlier. Take it. Oh, this is a key we used to start the facial recognition device. Uh, thanks, man. I guess I'll have to use my such respected powers after all. Here goes. Aiming. Three, two, one, fire. Uh, whoa, nice aim. Uh, you got it, right in the center. So what do we get? Uh, hello? How do I click on this? I can't actually click on that. Some limp pieces of destroyed balloon. Okay. What did that do? The zoom is very confusing. Does that say hi? Hill? H I L? H I L? A bookshelf. Something's off about it. So maybe I got the wrong lighter there? It looks like I put something on the wall next to it, too. Well, the helmet on the, the armor and helmet looks like an L. Okay, so that's definitely an L. Something needs to go here. Do we have anything that could fit like that? All we have is a tablet, that's it? Uh, looks like you got the tablet to turn on. Ah, uh, look! Something showed up on the screen. Enter a four-digit passcode. Um, I have the letters P-L-H-I. The only thing I could think of is the word fail. Nope, that didn't work. Arg, I don't get it. What do we do? Like, we got a parallelogram there. What does that tell us? I mean, we've had a bombshell revelation that Akane is connected to this game somehow. But what else do we do? No idea what this thing is. What about the other thing? Um, this thing here. It says it's still starting up. Probably can't do anything with it right now. Uh, I have no idea what to do. Yeah. The size of the books matter because one book is four big, one book is three big, and one book is three big. So that's why if you put it in like this, it looks like the light H, right? This still says something's off about it though. Let's try removing all the books, see what happens. Something's off about it. Hmm. Oh, I didn't even mean to do that. Oh, well, we're back in here. There's a P. 
circular table is nothing else on here. Okay. I'm not really sure what else to do. Like, I don't have any idea. I don't have any clues. White to blue, green to red. How do I get this to work? Like, how does this puzzle work? White to blue. Purple to yellow. And then green to red. Green to red is impossible though. I mean, that's impossible. Yeah, I don't get this at all. All right, I'm gonna sit here and try for a few minutes and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, I have spent a few minutes staring at this puzzle, trying to figure it out, going different directions. And what I've learned is this green to red, the green to red thing here, and then the blue to white. You have to get the purple and the yellow connected. Which means, um, this red to green uh, doesn't work. But if we go around this way, and then the blue to yellow, uh, blue to white goes this way, we actually have a path now, and it's through the middle. Like that. Aha! <laughs> that was a very tricky puzzle. Because, like, the, uh, the the most direct path was not the path you had to take. You had to sort of loop up and around. Good job. You did it. Uh, hmm, nice work. Uh, very impressive. Uh, let's have a look inside. A hundred billion dollars. Uh, videos. Uh, yeah, yeah. A uh, giant moose? You know, the people at Sierra would be very proud to see a giant moose, that's for sure. All the dots. All the assistant adventurer guild dot. All the dots. All the, ah. Uh, looks like some good hunting right there, dots. Uh, sorry guys. Uh, looks like all we've got is a binder and a deer. Uh, so a bind deer. <laughs> uh, what the hell is this? Is uh, Zero just making fun of us? Uh, the deer's looking at me, Grandpa. Uh, book up. It's just a fake. Book up. Ha ha. We got a mounted deer with letters on it. Oh, what's this? Look, there's a... Uh, little prongs. We've seen those prongs before. Uh, mounted deer. Poor deer. Uh, take a closer look. I think it's just a replica. Uh, you mean it's fake? Uh, yeah. Well, uh, that's good to know. Uh, you know, there's some red paint on his neck. Uh, it's also got two pegs on the back of its board. Uh, maybe we are supposed to put it up somewhere? Yes, we do. And a binder. Alright, so there's a binder in the safe. Uh, it's got two pieces of paper in it. Yeah, I found page one of the business card instructions. You can review it in the archive. Yeah, I found page two of the business card instructions. Okay, uh, first thing we're gonna do before we look at that is go put up this deer. Well, looks like you were right. Uh, it's a mounted deer. Uh, the paint on the deer and the wall behind it looks like it uh, fits together. Uh, hard to tell from there, though. Maybe if we uh, look at it from another angle. 
Okay, let's go sit down in our good old fashioned chair. H E L. It's almost like it's spelling out the word help because we do have, we do have the P in the background. That's right, we do. Which means this code, uh, um, this code here must be help. Not hell. Aha! It works! You did it! Uh, hmm. Uh, good work, Sigma. Uh, take a look at the screen. Oh, we got green colors. Ooh. Okay, so we have part one of the safe now. Now I always forget if it's green or blue. I always had to look it up. I still... My memory's not that good. Uh, so we got star, sun, star. Huh. What's this? Uh, looks like the uh, password for the safe. Awesome. Now we can open it. Uh, no, not yet. We, we still have to find the other color. Not, we can't leave yet. So it looks like what you have to do here is you have to spell out the word H, which means the uh, four probably goes here. And the threes probably go here. No. The four and the three. Yeah. It's supposed to look like that. So you can see the H. Okay. Um. Uh. Uh. File. We got business cards here. Uh, so this tells us part of them. Hold on. So we have Bob, Chris, John, Ian, Tony, and Michael. Okay. The woman I request in the following position. Carol likes being on the left. So, Carol on left and prefers to be near Bob and near Bob Ellen would like to be above Anne Ellen above Anne Sophie likes to be on the right Sophie on right Kate likes to be next to Michael Kate next to Michael. All right, so what do we know? Very little. <laughs> uh, let's just open the business card. Let's, uh, let's work on this. Uh, Bob we know is up here. <laughs> Sorry, uh, Chris is right here. Uh, John is right here. Tony is right here. And Michael is right here. Okay. Carol likes to be on the left. Um, so Carol either has to be here or here. But Kate likes to be near Michael. So Kate either has to be here or here. I think... Carol and left. And near Bob. However, Ellen has to be above Anne. So Anne is near Bob, which means Anne has to go here. And then Ellen has to be either here or here. But we know Anne has to be here. Because Anne needs to be near Bob. And if Ellen has to be above Anne, then Anne can't be here. Uh, so... By the way, Ian's wrong. Ian should be over here. Bob, Chris, John, Ian, Tony, Michael. Okay. Uh, yeah, so Ian has to be here. So I can check that one off. Uh, Carol needs to be on the left. 
Considering this is Bob, Tony, and that's Anne. This has to be Carol. Okay. Got that one. Um, Kate wants to be near Michael. Which means Kate could be here or here. Well, if Kate is here, that means Ellen has to be here, and that means Sophie has to be here. Hey, we got it. Cool. If that didn't work, then we would just uh, flip around a couple people. But, you know, once we got two, like, dead set, it was just figuring out the others. I think this is right. Uh, then let's look at the other side. Uh, maybe the shapes look like something now. Uh, other side? Uh, this side. Uh. Oh, wait, this is lit up. Huh? It changed. Uh, that looks like a puzzle. Of course it's a puzzle. Uh, it is. It's a silhouette puzzle called a tangram. I have no idea what that is. I've never heard of a tangram before. I hope you can let me know. Uh, move or rotate the triangles and squares to get the shape you need. Selecting the rotate move button will allow you to switch between move and rotate mode. You can rotate a piece by dragging it while in rotation mode. Dragging while in movement mode will move the piece in question. Okay. Uh, I have no idea what that is. Yeah, I, I don't understand the instructions. Let's just give it a shot. Uh. Um. What is this? And what are we supposed to do with this? It's a better question, isn't it? Huh? What the heck? I'm... I am so confused. Uh, this pose is too hard. I feel my brain turning to mush. Ah, uh, you can do it. But... Okay, so the only clue we have... Is this thing. So we basically have to make... I'm assuming... A shape... That looks like... That. A parallelogram. We gotta make a parallelogram. A parallelogram. A parallelogram. We gotta make a parallelogram somehow with these shapes. Like, how? No, I I'm actually asking you, how do I do this? Um, well, it's gotta be, um, let's, I really don't like having to use a joystick when I'm manipulating objects like this it just doesn't work okay we need a shape like this right we need a shape like this except it's got to be uh, like that so that's what we need. Uh, how do we do that? Well, I guess this could be one part, right? And then this big thing. Man, this is so finicky. Like, moving shapes around is really, really hard. Um... Uh, this is gonna give me a headache. I, I really need like a mouse and keyboard for this. Because when you're moving around shapes like this, it's just really, really hard to do with the controller. So what if you did it like that? So 
So if you do it like that, and then this part would be the bottom part. So it would look like this. And then these. This is an evil puzzle. I'm just saying, this is a really, really easy, evil, evil puzzle. Um, that can't go like that though, because it's not a parallelogram. Should have learned more in geometry class. How to make a geometric shape. What is with this diamond? <clears throat> I mean, seriously, what is with that diamond? How are you supposed to figure out how to make a puzzle? When he got a stupid diamond! Oh, this is... I don't know what to do with this diamond. Um... Uh... Like... Oh! You can make it into a square. Okay. You can make that into a square. That makes more sense. And you have two triangles on both sides. So what if you make this into a square? And then you took these and you made these into like accompanying triangles. Sort of like, yeah, like that. And then this can go on the other side. And then that forms the... What am I doing with this? I'm just playing with shapes. I, I gotta figure out how to make a parallelogram. Um... What if this was a triangle like this? That went up like this. That's not a parallelogram, though. Like, this could be the edge of a parallelogram. I just don't know how to, um... How to make that shape work. Um... What if it goes on top? Like, this is the top part. Like this. Uh, nope. It's not gonna fit up top. Could fit on the, the side, though. Like, you could do that. I mean, that's the, uh, the side of a parallelogram. You know, the, um, the line. And then this is the other side of the parallelogram. Sort of? No. Wait, if I put that one like that, will this one go across? Yeah, that one now goes across. Look, I now have a diamond. I have a triangle. No, but I have a parallelogram. I have something that looks like this, right? So this looks like this, sort of. What if I like back this up a little bit? I need more room. Even if I could do this correctly, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get these shapes to look exactly like they're supposed to. Um... Okay. So I made one of these. That's what I want to do. I want to make another triangle. Because with triangles, will this work? If I do this, and then, no. 
But I do have... I have... I have something that looks like a parallelogram. Um... The only problem is I can't seem to... Yeah, I can't... I can't seem to... I can't seem to... I can't get, I, I can't seem to get this to work. <sighs> that is not a parallelogram. So my strategy to make a triangle here and use the other two triangles to make a parallelogram did not seem to work at all because this this doesn't work. Put this like this. No. No. No, it's not gonna work. Maybe I should play with this piece here. What if I put it flat? Like... This. That'll work, right? And if I can line it up a little bit better. This is the ugliest parallelogram in the history of the world. But um, this should work, right? Like if I just lined it up correctly right here. And then I took this end and I flipped this end around. So that way... Right here, right like that. And I put it like this. That is the funkiest thing I've ever seen. Will it work? <gasps> it worked! Oh yeah, who's the man? Oh, that was amazing. How'd you do it? That puzzle was really hard. Uh, well done, Sigma. Uh, that was pretty impressive. Uh, so what do I get? Look. Uh, there's something on the screen. Uh, I, uh, I, uh, P? What does that mean? I, I, L, wait, wait, I, I, L, P, that's, um, that's four letters. I, I, L, P. Aha! I wonder what that stands for. I, I, L, P. Phew! Looks like it worked. Uh, good job. Uh, that was awesome. Uh, the screen changed. So we got blue now. And the blue screen is star, sun, and moon. Now, let me go back to my other sheet really quick. I can't believe that puzzle was... Uh, I just realized in order to make a parallelogram, I need to make triangles. And so I just had to make triangles. And once I got that first, like, conglomeration into a triangle... Um, I thought I had it, but it didn't work. But then it, once it was the other one, it worked. Okay, so blue are files. Blue are files, green is key. Hey, uh, it looks different than before. Uh, the symbols are different, and they're in different places. Oh yeah, I found a safe password. Ha ha! Let's do it. Uh, safe, just like before. Uh, there's got to be a way to open it. 
Uh, should we just punch in the password? Uh, why don't you try it and find out? Let me tell you something. The best thing you can possibly do is if you if you have puzzles, is to get a piece of paper and a pen, and just like sort of draw out, you know what, um, uh, what this could be, um, because when I had the parallelogram, I realized that a parallelogram is made up of four triangles. Um, and he had that really big triangle piece uh, that you could possibly make uh, So the first thing I try to do is focus on that really big piece and then save the other two triangles um, as ends uh, And that's what really really helped me in that puzzle So if you ever need to figure out a puzzle draw a picture it doesn't always work. I've been stumped before but draw a picture uh, star Sun Moon By the way, I do have the safe uh, files from the other room that we haven't looked at yet. I think I'm gonna wait until we go completely down this path and then look at all these files all at once. Uh, good job. Because I don't want to spoil anything because, I mean, I just saw Connie's picture. That blew my mind. It opened. Hmm. Uh, good work. Found the gold file. Now it's time to open the other one. Wait a second. No! We never opened up the computer! No! 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 We still don't know what this is! No! No! I I'm really, really sad right now. I thought for sure, for sure we would get this password and... No, we didn't. Oh, I'm all suddenly a very sad, footless bird. Um, phew. Uh, it's open. There's nothing in here except a couple cards and a key. Hmm. It looks kind of empty this time. Uh, there are only two things in here. Uh, first we got the Amidex room. Uh, the AB room key cards. Oh, these must be the star cards uh, they were talking about. Uh, there are two of them. Uh, you guys take one, and I'll take the other. Uh, right. Uh, we're a pair, so we only need one for the two of us. And the other thing is, uh, the key, as usual. Ah, uh, yes. Now we can get out of here. All right, we found the key, found it safe. Uh, great. Uh, no point in sitting around. Uh, let's go. All right, you guys. Well, um, you know, I was so excited when we start this uh this room because I was like, I'm gonna finally figure out what's in this computer, and instead of getting answers, all we got was another question because of this stupid picture. <sighs> Kane Kurosiki, huh? I still don't know. I, I, I still don't know. You guys ready? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, go for it. All right. Three, two, one. All right, you guys. An hour, 14 minutes. A lot of bugs. A lot of computer slowdown. A lot of technical issues. A lot of brain-melting puzzles. But we got through it. And sadly, our prize is not what we wanted it to be. Um, I don't know if we are any further along than when we started. And no. now he's yelling at me and I have no idea why. So if we look at our flow chart, it looks like, yes, this did open up new areas. Uh, this was a lock. Um, yeah. Uh, but we're gonna have to wait and see what's uh, what's going to happen next time on uh, our Virtue Last Reward playthrough. My name is The Spur, this is your story-based gaming channel, and... Man, that stinks. I so badly want to know what was in that room. So, so, so badly want to know. Until next time, my friends, so long, and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you would like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more. Also, please do not forget, you matter.
You are brilliant and you are loved. And you should always remember to be true to yourself. Don't let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly feathered flightless bird. Till next time.